uh, welcome everyone. Good to see our faces. I hope, um, let me know if you have already registered or you are in the process. Can we use the reaction button to raise our hand? If you have already gotten the link for the JIRA and Confluence. You can drop in the chat. If you have the link and you're already on it, you can say yes, so that we know that we are getting there. Thank you, Don. Awesome, Ifetayo. Sarah said yes, okay. Please, I need more, more, more chat so that we can confirm, okay, not yet. So if you already have JIRA and Confluence, you don't need to bother yourself anymore. Okay, because I know some people must have, they have it already. If you have JIRA and conference, don't bother yourself, you are good to go. This is for those that don't have JIRA at all. Okay, just join. Okay, so we are gonna reshare the, the, the link again for those that are just joining. Click on the link, uh, one second. So for those that are just joining, click on the link you see on the chat and it will take you to the JIRA uh, software for you to register and you are good to go. Are we all good? Are we good? I need confirmation, guys. Elizabeth, are you saying yes? Yes. Okay, because I see that nodding. <laughs> Thank you. Like, how many of us are already there? Okay, Mary said not yet. Yes, thanks. Okay, still on it. Okay, Wazwa said yeah. Okay, done. Awesome, awesome. Let's keep them coming, please. Okay, if you have any difficulties, you can also drop it in the chat. If it requires us to, like, find a way to assist you, sure, we are going to do that. Are we good? So we are giving one more minute, okay? We are gonna be giving one more minute for everybody to uh, sign up on JIRA and Confluence before we start. If you don't have the link, we are already sharing the link another uh, second time. Click on the link you will see on the chat and it takes you straight to the JIRA and Confluence uh, registration. You register, make sure you are choosing from. Don't choose project management and don't choose uh, Kanban, please. Yeah, for those that are asking if the recording is gonna be shared, of course it will be shared on the uh, WinTech uh, YouTube channel. So you might wanna follow us on YouTube as well so that once the video, uh, the recording is being shared, you will get the information as soon as, as quick as possible, okay? Okay, so um, once you sign in, it will take you to where you will select different things you wanna do. Um, Aderemi, are you able to share your screen? Let me use your screen to walk others through. Can you unmute yourself, Aderemi? Yes, please, let me try to share my screen. Okay, all right. Um, can you please enable screen sharing? One second. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have here. Can you see my screen? So, Aderemi, we are not seeing your screen. You are not sharing yet. Oh, okay. Let me try that again. Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. Can you see my screen now? Yes, it's coming. Okay. So um, scroll down, let me see. Yeah, you're already there. Okay. So, you're already there. Um, yeah, you go to project, let me see. Scroll down. You see where you have nine dotted lines on the left-hand side? 
yes this yes click on it yeah you are good okay it's because this is your very first time you're using it if you see you can see that you have your initials by the side yes maybe so you should be good okay thank you no worries uh, sorry, I have a question. You said no. we should not choose projects and we should not choose them. Um, so what do you want us to choose, please? Chrome. Pardon me? Chrome. Chrome. Yes, Chrome. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, for sure. V, you can go ahead and share. Unmute yourself, V. Hello, V. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I think, good evening. Yeah, I think I missed um something. No worries. Just go ahead and share so we can assist you. Thank you. No problem. This is where I am, and I'm not seeing oh, um select order. Order, okay. Yeah. Continue. And if there is any other person that is in this place. This is something you do. So select from. Okay, Continue. thank you so much. Give it some time. It's going to bring out where you might possibly want to ask you what is your project name. So you might want to give it any name you want. Okay. Yeah, so you are good. Okay. okay. Yeah. All yes. right. So this is what I'm saying. He's asking you for your project name. So give it any name you want and hold on for others. Uh, okay. All right. So you can stop sharing. All right. Thank you. No worries. Are we all good? Um, I have a question. Sure, you'll be good. I know you just thanks. I know you just told the person that shared now to select order. Um, is it is there a problem? I selected um software development. Is it going to be a problem for me? No, down the road? there is no issue yeah. at all. There okay, is no all right. issue. Thank you. Whichever one you select is fine. Awesome. Thanks. No worries. Okay, please all right, before you so, proceed. Sorry? All right, sorry, before you proceed, um the other lady that shared um that went to the place for Scrum, right? Mm -hmm. I missed the place before Scrum. What did she click before Scrum? What she clicked before Scrum, she selected mm -hmm. order. Okay, so I have projects on my screen. I have a um, filter, dashboard. Vivian, will it be okay for you to share? Because in that case, it gives me like visibility of what you're talking about. Okay, please, I can share. Thank you. No worries. Sorry? You say you can't share? I can share, I can share. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead. So this was what I was on my screen. Yeah, can so you are good. You already installed. You see, you have your name initial by the side. You've already uh, signed up. Right. You see your okay. name, V. So yeah. hold on, wait for us there. Do not rush, okay? okay. All right. We'll okay. get there. Can I stop sharing? Thank sure. you. Sure. All right, so I think we are good at this point. I know everybody might not be 100% okay, but I want to believe that uh, as many as a lot of people are so, okay. Uh, uh, excuse sorry. me. Yeah, so I'm not yet good at all because my screen, I don't know. I hope I'm looking, I'm seeing all that thing. Sorry, Mary, uh, what did you say? Can you hear me? Yeah, I think it's free cream, but I can't okay. make it. Uh, so on the screen, I click on uh, Get Jira Free. Is that not where I'm supposed to click on? Mary, I would prefer you share your screen. I didn't get that. Uh, okay, let me let me do that. If it's higher, did you catch that? Um, She's supposed to click on Get Jira Free. It's the free version. Oh she yeah, is, free. Oh, that was what she's asking. Yeah. Yeah, it's free version that you have to click on if that is the case. Can Can you hear me now? Yes, Mary, I can hear you very so well. So when I click on the uh, 
get GF with, and it takes me to where to put email accounts, isn't it? Yes, you have to put in your email address and your yes. and password. Oh, okay. Did you get that? Because I don't put my email, it's taking me to where to sign off. Do I need to sign off? Yes, you need to. Okay, I, I think could... it's much better when you share your screen so that one can support you best because Jira yeah. comes in different forms. So okay. she might be saying something and you're seeing a completely different, a different thing. Because thing. That's why name. I made sure she should share. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me share my screen then. Okay. Please, if you're watching and you are not okay, you don't have the Jira and conference, let us okay. know. We can reshare so, the link. Can you see my join. screen now? Yes. Okay. Click on continue. Okay. Um, okay. So, but I'm not getting the, he said he's going to send this verification. Um, so you need to go to your email, whichever email that is this. You have I'm, to log into that email. That's where I'm that's where I'm having problems. So I'm not getting any I'm not getting any verification email. And I've received about two times. I'm not getting can you it. try using another email? Oh, okay. See if that will work. Or oh, she try can check the spam folder. Exactly. Spam folder is another thing. Or you try using Gmail if you Okay, have okay. Let me let me try that's what I've not done. Let me just try using Gmail then. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So I think we are all good uh, uh, to some extent. I want to believe that we are all good to some extent, right? Are we? Can I see our hands if you are good? I want to gauge like number of people that are okay. You can drop in the chat. You can use the reaction button, whichever one that works for you. I'm just seeing few few hands. It does it mean that others are not? Okay, I'm seeing yes, good. Okay, thank you. I'm seeing some hands up. Others, where are we? Are we not okay? Like I need to see like good number of hands up. Good luck, are you okay? Yes, Sunday, K, Catherine, Blessing, Uche, Choma, Oluwa, Bisola, like a lot of names. <laughs> okay, so is it a good place for us to start? Yes or no? Just one yes or one no, I will know. Okay, said I say yes, yes, okay. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, thank you for the patience and also following through. I know it's not easy trying to do this well believe me like i said it doesn't take too much time like once you have your email and your password it's seamless you are good to go okay so join me we are going to be kick starting now and um all we are trying to do here is about jira and confluence how you can maximize the usage of jira and confluence and be more productive and efficient in your workplace, right? I know a lot of people do use Jira and Confluence, whether you're a project manager or you're a business analyst, or maybe you are doing a different thing altogether. You can use Jira and you can also use Confluence for so many other things, which of course, we have a capable hand that is gonna be taking us on this uh, workshop. In a software, you are customer centric. Okay, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> interruption. Yeah, so we have uh, a capable hand that is going to be taking us on this uh, workshop, and I will indulge everybody to please pay attention and walk through with her. Okay, we have Kemi. Kemi Raji is a Scrum Alliance first female uh, grade level in Canada. She holds so many certifications in both uh, coaching and all that. And her background things around the management and uh, a, a master's degree in uh, international development. In addition, she's also a coach 
and she has um she's also a founder as well she has a ten, more than 10 years experience when it comes to coaching and also executives around their businesses and jira transformation while working with teams to explore different ways of working efficiently all right and uh kemi is kemi is, she knows her onions very well when it comes to jira and conference so Join me today. We are going to be welcoming her. She will be the one to take up on this workshop. And one thing I will tell everybody that is watching us on today's section is this. You need to give her your attention, okay? If there is anything that is going to take your mind away from this section, please, you might want to put that thing aside. Give her your attention and you are going to get the best out of her, all right? So, ladies. And again, I know some men are here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I know I saw someone that is a guy. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, join me and welcome Kenny Raji while she take up this section. And yeah, Kenny, you're welcome. Happy to have you. And also, we are so blessed that you accepted to, you know, impact in our women's uh, life and also share from the world of your knowledge. We appreciate you and we say a big welcome. The floor is over to you. Thank you so much, Madam Chairman. Oh, is it, what's your title again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wendy. Madam Founder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wendy. <laughs> I know, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to uh, kind of like her. Yeah. And thank you so much, Wendy. I, I appreciate your uh, time. I appreciate what you do. And um, it, it is so... I, I I am the one that is honored and privileged to be in your midst today. Uh, and I'm so glad that uh, we've been able to make this happen. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about JIRA. Um, and I said, no slides. I did reach out to me and said, Kemi, where are your slides? I said, no, we're not doing slides. Uh, and that's because <laughs> people would not pay attention. Not that you have to pay attention because I know we're all busy, but people would be like, uh, send me the slides and I'll take a look. But Jira is completely different. You might as well uh, download some uh, documents on uh, Google and walk yourself through. But what I do suggest is that we together spend some time tonight just knowing the basics of uh, uh, Jira. Jira is turning into another Microsoft uh, uh, Office uh, whereby uh, if you don't have it on your resume, uh, you have your recruiter or your hiring manager calling and say, have you used Jira before, right? It will get to a point where it will be given. Now you don't put, uh, I have Microsoft Word, Office, whatever, whatever on your resume anymore because they expect you to have used it. If you haven't used that, they expect you at least know the Google Suites. So Jira, Confluence, Atlassians basically uh, is getting to that point where everybody, regardless of your job role, uh, would have to uh, have the knowledge of Jira. I have been using Jira for, uh, hmm, when I started using Jira back in the UK uh, and I've moved to Canada now over 10 years. So I'm trying to calculate my, uh, my years. Uh, but one thing about Jira is that I still do not know how Jira works, right? So just to tell you how long I've been using Jira, and I, it is crazy. I wanted to log into my account today, and I stumbled upon a different link, and it took me to simply, I was like, what? When did they create, it, create this? It was something to do with Jira therapy or something like that. And they made some upgrade. <laughs> yeah. That's what? But today we're starting and focusing on the basic, which you have to know. The moment you know these basics, honestly, you're good to go. Because when you find yourself in an environment where they are using Jira and you can recognize what you need to do, you don't have to worry about the rest of it. You will learn as you go along with it. I cannot call myself an administrator. I cannot call myself an expert in Jira. And that's because I, I hate to disappoint someone that seems to think that she knows everything. And then I open it, they've done a completely different thing. And I'm like, what? Okay. Um, so what I'm going to be sharing with you is what you as a scrum master needs to know, uh, a BA needs to know, uh, or you are a software developer and you're working in a team. 
Right. So what someone who is working on a scrum team does need to know. So we're not going to be talking about uh, Jira um, portfolio, uh, Jira teamwork, and Jira, all those other ones we're not. But there are a lot. If you are interested in Jira, that's another salary income for someone. So if today, after today, you think that this is what you want to do, you would earn thousands of dollars, honestly, because the administrator role is in high demand and not a lot of people uh, do it because Jira is hard to keep up with. So I believe that uh, uh, Wendy just spot that like me. Okay. <laughs> and I want to see some people. Let me remove this spotlight for a second. Don't okay. worry. I'm going to do okay. that. Please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, by show of hands, how many people are, uh, have access to whatever form of Jira that you have? You can either do thumbs up virtually, uh, you know, the emoji, or you can raise your thumb. So I know how much I have to wait for people. Okay, so we have about six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that's fair enough. Uh, 10, I guess. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to be sharing my screen, and I have two screens I, I, I'm working on. So if I'm looking at this, I'm probably looking at where my Zoom details are on. Oh, and if I'm looking here, that's where my, my Jira board is. So I'm not ignoring you. It's just that. I have my uh, 32 inches screen here, which helps me to see better. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's start with um, with Jira. I love Jira. It used to be, <laughs> I'm kidding. It used to be back in the days, um, a bug fixing ticket. When I say bug fixing, when developers were working on software, they would find defects on the software that they're working on. Um, and they would then notify us the business side uh, and then we will pick it up to review those defects that they found and decide whether we would ask them to fix that bug or not. So it is, a, it was, and I guess it, it still is, it was a collaboration between the developers finding bug and letting the business people know that, do you want us to fix this or not? But um, not too long ago, Jira realizes that there is a need for a technology that IT um, or agile uh, teams should be using. And they started to improve and evolve on what they do. Right now, as it is, if people say they're scrum masters, they believe that they have to solely work on Jira, and it's not the case. Anyway, so this is what my board looks like, and I hope this is what your board looks like, maybe not entirely, uh, because one, I have created uh, some uh, stories. Anyone know what stories are? Okay, I see some nodding. Thank you. So I've created some stories uh, in my uh, backlog uh, and I'll, I'm also looking at uh, my backlog uh, uh, page. So let's start with these uh, projects. Did, have you all created projects? I believe where Wendy said we should create projects, right? Yeah, I think maybe you can walk through based on how they can create projects. Okay. Those that didn't. All right. Let, okay, yes. But as a, uh, as a program, um, I, let, let me just use it as someone on a team, you don't create uh, the project, but we're going to create that. A Jira administrator would have done that for you. All you need to do is just come in here and everything is up and running. All right. But we are going to create projects. Uh, and I will go here where it says project and go to the bottom and it says create project. I click on it. It's so straightforward. What, do, what type of project do I want to create? Is it product discovery or customer service management? I stick, I stick to customer service management because it's just easy. And it, then he asked me for my templates. And it, I click on try template. And my internet is so slow for some reason. Oh, 
or maybe the jira is slow i am not sure but if it's working for you this is what you need to do and then you create uh, the project so for some reason mine is not working all right so you create the project and it brings you to this space all right i need to know that at least three people or four have been able to create their project and if you could do show of hands yep okay sarah as if i tell you as lola as great okay thank you awesome um so, can i ask a question yes oh yeah, yeah. it's asking me uh, it, mm, project templates what am i supposed to click there click on the uh, template which is what click, i couldn't create click on team manage do you see team managed? No, yes, I don't. Yeah. I only see made for you, bundle, software development, service uh, management. You can click on service, it's fine. Click on service management. Service management, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I've exhausted my uh the number of projects that I can create, so it's not working for me anymore. But that's where to go. Um so you will find yourself uh, here, which is your board. And 99% of the time, this is where you spend your, uh, your time as uh, a scrum team, right? You're working on this task board and we will see what it would look like in a minute. As a product owner or a BA, you will spend most of your time working on a backlog. So a backlog is every single thing that your team would need to develop during the lifestyle uh, life cycle of that product or services. Sorry, Kemi, can yes. I come in here? Will it be okay for me to use mine to show them how to create the product? Okay, yeah, that's because great. Let me stop sharing. It seems sharing. like yeah. some people don't have it yet. Okay, awesome, yes. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and walk you through uh, based on how what Kemi was trying to say on how to create the project, okay? For those that are not there yet, just give me one moment. And let me know when you can see my screen. Yep. Okay. So if you're on this screen, you will definitely see Jira by the left-hand side. And when you go towards your right-hand side, you will see your work. You will see projects. Click on the project. If you click on the project, scroll all the way down. You're going to see where it says create project. Then you yeah. click on it. Yeah. Uh, just before you move, uh, Wendy. Yep. Yeah. Look at Wendy's one. Look at what, he, uh, what he's given you. And Wendy. when you look at all the templates, you will be carried away with all those templates. Don't don't be. You can select anything. It is just it is just uh, like I said earlier. They're trying to evolve what they do to cater okay. for every single person. So let's go to create project again. Okay. Because I know some people will, was like uh, made for you and all software. On the left hand corner where it says project templates are all the sectors. That mm -hmm. now uses Jira. So if you were in legal, for instance, you will click legal and hopefully you find uh, a board which is has been tailored for legal. Mm -hmm. Right? So don't get carried away about the project template. And that's why I said just click on anyone because we just want you to create a project. You will still end up with the same thing. So let's just create one win. Thank you. Okay, so which one do you want me to click it, on? It doesn't now? matter. You uh, you just, yes, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so if you, you click Scrum, on software yeah. development, then you select Scrum. So when you select Scrum, it's going to ask you, use template. You click on the use template. So here is asking you, select a team managed project or select a company managed project. You click on select team managed project. You have to give a name to your project. 
whatever name you want to give. Maybe I can say WinTech uh, project. And if you notice, once I'm writing it down here, it's giving me my key. You don't need yep. to change the key. The key is permanent for you. Okay, access is asking me access. Maybe I can leave it. Access means if I want to make it private only for me, or do I want other people in my team members to be, you know, to collaborate mm -hmm. with me? If I yeah. want whichever one. So for for the purpose of this training, uh, I'm just gonna choose private. Then you click on next. Yep. It's coming. And and that's it. Yeah. Thanks, Wendy. Thank Jira board. Yes. Thank you. I hope we are good. And so you, you keep sharing. on practicing, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna stop sharing. I keep on, keep on practicing. Me. Thanks, Wendy. You keep on practicing, and that's how you uh sort of like get the hang of uh Jira uh, as much as you can. You can create dummy um backlog. You can even create, and you will see what I've created so far. You can create uh, a task board um, or Jira board for you um, trying to find a job, right? Tell me, you might want to reshare your screen. Oh, I'm not sharing, sorry. No, no, you yeah. are not. Um, all right, so this is uh, the backlog. And I want to share you something because if you want... It, it, whatever you're doing with Jira, you want to also look at the timeline. But most of the time, the PO spends their time uh, here in the timeline. And that's because it helps them to tell the uh, stakeholders where they are on their journey. If you've done projects management before, this will be your uh, gang chat uh, kind of. So that's why a lot of uh, um, Agilis does not like Jira because it still replicates uh, the old, tra uh, the traditional way of doing things. So the product owner is spending a lot of time here uh, looking at a timeline. You won't find uh, your developers spend spending time here. If you are a scrum master, then you might once in a while, if you're really proactive, check where your teams are uh, at any point in time so that you can let them know that, hey, folks, we said we we're going to finish this in April. This is uh, scrum technology. We're, we're going to finish it in April. What's happening with it? But a lot of times you're not here. All right. So we're not going to be focusing here, but I just wanted you to also know that there are places you can check the timeline and also how you create stories that you, you then add it to this timeline. Because when you create stories and it's not added to this purple one, they are called orphans which means that they get lost and you can't track them. So the team would have worked on it, finish it, but it's nowhere to be found because it gets so quickly, uh, uh, the Jira board gets so chock-a-block really quickly that if you don't tag your uh, stories to what we call epics, so these purple ones are called epics in Jira and I don't want to be dropping uh, terminologies uh, but so, but let me know if there are some technologies I'm dropping that you don't understand. So these purple ones are called epics. Uh, you want to tie everything to your epics or else they become lost. All right. So let me go back to my board. My board, and you might find that your board is to do in progress done, right? And you're wondering why my ads tested. That's because the standard board task board is always to do in progress done or to do uh, ongoing or whatever they want to call it done. That Those are the three stages that any work you're doing, it will be. That's the stream, uh, that's the flow. However, as a scrum team or agile team, there are um, tasks that you need to do that you want to create visibilities from. So you will come here and they've made it so simple now. You will come here and you will create your column. So I want you to do that. 
just click, go to your board where it says board on your project. If you're still there, if you're not, please let me know so that I can bring you up to speed. Uh, so click on the board and you should have this Chrome board and there is a plus sign at the end of your the third uh, column. Just click on it. And it gives you a, a board, a dialog box, and just write in it. And I could say development completed. Again, it is whatever the team wants to make visible. So development completed, where does that go? Item is still in progress. So I need to move this development completed to the middle. So I just pick and drag, right? Do I? Do we have people who have tried that to click, uh, to create stream lanes, right? I, I just need thumbs up. Thank you, Lola. Uh, sorry, I can't find any plus sign at the edge of the dawn. Um, so you are on the scrum board, right? Yes. Okay. Don, can you see my screen? Look at my screen for a second. Yeah, I can see your screen. Yeah. I know you have a plus sign at the end of the Dawn box, but I don't have that sign on mine. Okay. Are you able to share your screen, Christiana? Okay. Just a moment. Can you share? Yeah, just a moment. All right. I'm switching between windows. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, um, do you have permission to share? Yes, we do. Okay. It's saying stop participant sharing. So you're saying what? Stop participant sharing. Let me see if the option is there. Start video. And you know how to share? Yeah, I do, but I can't find the option here. So you see it, uh, something like a green button on below your your Zoom. Okay, okay. It says share screen. Yeah, found it. Okay. Okay, it's my screen. I think it's this one. Once it open, it's gonna show you. Okay, good. It's coming. So what is the situation? So there's no plus sign here. Oh. <laughs> Set column limits. Did you click on that before? No, I just found that. Okay, can you can you scroll up a bit? Okay. Oh. That's it. <laughs> so sorry, thank you. No. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Can you stop sharing so I take over my screen, please? Oh, uh, you can you can take the class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a novice. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um don't create streamline for the sake of creating streamline. Create it because it makes sense to the developers. And I must say that the developers are the ones that own this board. You as a BA or Scrum Master are just supporting the developers. You don't own the board at all. So you cannot come in here and say, well, I think that you need to create a swim lane for development. No, the developers will create that swim lane for themselves. But if you have, say like a BA wants to be able to visualize their work. They can come in here and say, folks, uh, um, I, I need to create visibility for my work. So I wanna create, um, uh, what would I say? A requirement gathering. And it would have nothing to do with the developers because it's just for me as a BA. And I'll put it here in requirement gathering. 
And that's because I want the, uh, the developers to be able to know that there are some items which are coming. But if it's not being used, you will come in here and just delete it. Again, as you created it, you just delete it. All right. Any questions around creating streamlines? We should all be good to create streamlines now. All right. Great. Yes, Jennifer. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't see how you created the column for or the stream lane for requirement gathering. Oh, the same way I created for development uh, completed. I just moved it. Did you, you know, just click on the, line. okay, yes, on that button. Oh, yes. On the plus lane. Yeah, I just moved. And you can pick and drop. I can move this and drop it here. Oh. I can move this and drop it here. You just pick and drop. Okay, thank you. Oh, no worries. Yes, Elizabeth. Yeah, sorry, um, I have to take you back. On my own uh, board, I couldn't see the plus sign, and I've overrun the done. It's still not appearing as well. Uh, did you scroll up? Because I, I realized that when Christiane scrolled up, it did show up. Did you scroll up as well? Because it might just be that you've um, increased it, and it's taking over your uh, screen. I did scroll up. Okay, let's share your screen really quickly. Elizabeth, please. Okay. So, Kimmy, I have to stop you from sharing so she can share. Oh, okay, yeah. Can you okay, see? So, um, Kimmy. Yes, please. Uh, just one moment. So for those that didn't see the plus sign, you might want to look very closely. So we use uh, Elizabeth's own to show you so you don't have the same complaint uh, later on. Yes. And what Elizabeth is working on is not a scrum board. Uh, this looks like a, a task board or what we call a Kanban board. Uh, so you won't be able to create it almost immediately, but let's look at it. But I know that you probably have to go into your settings yeah. Um, yeah. No, sorry. Let, let's look at your board. No, no, your board, the actual board. You're on it already. Scroll up, please. No, on the, on the right hand side. This side? Yes. It's up so, already. Yeah, exactly. So what you have is a task board. Uh, what you then need to do, which I, I am not planning on, <laughs> I wasn't planning on going into is that you you see those three red dots there at the top uh where you are where you were scrolling this one yes that's where you would then go in and configure your board but that is not part of uh, the workshop today okay okay yeah. like i mentioned earlier that i already have jira so yes so you see your swim lanes there you then add right you see the plus sign for you no, at the I bottom, can't... where you have your swim lanes? Where you have done. Go all the way down. You're going to see plus sign. Okay. At the bottom of your, yeah. No, you've gone too uh, far. Yeah, you went yeah, too far. See the below. You see your this plus one? sign there. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. So. So what do I do again? That's all. A... You're working on a different board. You can create it. See, scroll up a bit. No, no, no. You've you've already done it. So you type in whatever you. Oh, creating. okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, you're working on a different board. Okay. And it will take us completely away from. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's okay. all right. Okay. So, uh, any other questions on creating uh um swim lanes? I'll go back to my screen. All right, so another thing I'm gonna share with you today is creating uh, stories or what I generally say, creating tasks. However, when you're working with Jira, you have to actually specify, are you creating epics, which is the much bigger one at the very top? Are you creating stories, which is like uh, in the middle? Are you creating tasks, which is another one, and or are you creating subtasks? 
So if you just say I'm creating tasks, people get confused. But in Scrum, because we don't have such names in Scrum, we say we are creating tasks. But when you're working with Jira, you have to go by the nomenclature of Jira, okay? So uh, I will show you two ways in which you will create stories in Jira. And sometimes you will find that Jira is called, they will call it creating issues. Um, so I have on my timeline, I did say you're not gonna be spending a huge amount of time here unless you're a PO. But let's just assume that you are a PO or you are a BA working directly uh, or closely with a PO. And uh, the PO has said, Kemi, can you help me with uh, these uh, tasks that I, or stories that I wanna create uh, so that I can prioritize them at a later date? There are two ways in which I can do it. So I've created some epics here. And if you wanna create epics, again, you just click on the plus sign and type in, so I've just type it in here, testing. And all these purple ones are the capabilities that we are building. So for instance, Confluence. Confluence is a platform on its own, right? So that's a capability. However, we cannot build Confluence in one day, nor can we build Confluence in two days. We have to break it down. So for each of the capability, let's just say for each of the elephant that we wanna build, we have always subtask and tasks that are under them, but we have to group them. So for confluence, I wanna create some items because we wanna know what we are building. So I'll click on the subtask, oh, sorry, let me go back because I think I clicked so quickly. I'll click on this uh, arrow here, Remember, it's always about the plus sign. Anything you're doing, look for the plus sign, all right? So I'll click on the plus sign here, and it gives me the green color. The green color is my uh, story, all right? Um, and I would type in, um, what can I type? Let me just make this up, create reports. Okay, and I'll hit enter, and it gives me another one. Um, understand how confluence works. And I'll just keep pressing enter until I don't need anymore. No more. All right. So how many people have been able to do that? No more. Or anyone struggling? Lola okay, is some thumbs up. More thumbs up. Christiana said done. Done. Yep. Okay. Uh, Jira YouTube. Okay. So that is one way in which, thank you. Uh, thank you, Chiwe. That is one way in which I can create stories. This is where my life is a lot easier. However, I can also come to my board, uh, sorry, my backlog rather. And you see here at the bottom, it says backlog. All right, so what do I do? I come into plus sign, create stories. So creating tasks. Uh, more tasks, All right? And I just keep eating enter. You add the plus sign, you keep eating enter. And if you're not creating anymore, just click outside of that box. And then it stops. However, you will notice, and let me show you first. When I go to my timeline, you see all these stories there. But when I go to my backlog, we don't see any of this stories I've just created, more tasks and creating. We don't see any purple associated with them. Why is that? Anyone? 
It's not been linked. It's often. Yes, thank you. It's uh, They are all orphans. So what do I have to do now, which is double the work? I would have to now add Epic, and it will give me an option, and I will say technology, plus sign, uh, testing. See, I'm doing twice the work. So if you are in that position and you have to create stories, make sure that you are going to the timeline to create it. Um, I know from experience that because they have to pay more for the license, and trust me, all this, uh, some of the um, functionalities of Jira are what we call add-ons. So for different things, organization pay different licensing. So they would have a cap on the number of license that they want to buy so that it doesn't cost them more. So you might find out that as a, a developer, you don't have access to this timeline or as a BA, you don't have access to the timeline. And if you use it, you now have to request. So some of the functionalities of Jira is not automatically given to you. You have to justify why you need to have access to them. All right. So if you uh, start working at a place and you don't see some of these things, uh, know that the permission has not been granted and you have to request for it. So, yeah, so this is what our backlogs now look like. And it's, it's becoming very beautiful, okay? Um, and the product owner continues to create and create and work on it with uh, the, um, the developers and the team. So any questions around creating uh, stories Um, yeah, I'm sorry, maybe I missed something, but did you did, did you in any way link it to Confluence? I mean, we are not previous... in Confluence yet, oh. Viv. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. This is Jira. <laughs> and I'm looking at the time. So we would have one more thing that we need to do, and then we'll move on to Confluence. All right. So another thing which you will do. Uh, again, it all depends on the permission that you have for Jira is that you can start the sprint. Okay, so we wanna uh, start a sprint. The developers have already uh, together with the rest of the uh, team decided on what they're gonna be working on. So they will move those items from the backlog to the sprint. And it's just pick up, drag and drop. So try that. Pick up from your backlog, drag, and drop. And that's how you populate your sprint. All right. So pick up from the backlog, drag, and drop. Obviously, you might be thinking that what if I have that many items in my backlog or if I have many um items, even in the sprint, I might not be able to drag and drop. There are other ways in which you can do that, but we're not going to do that to, for the purpose of this class. All right. So that we can move on to uh, Confluence. So we now have how many items? One, two, three, four, five items in our sprint. The team is happy uh, that uh, they can work on these items and they give a, uh, a go ahead to start the sprint. So what do we do? We come here and start the sprint. Again, not everybody would have that permission to start the sprint, all right? So we'll start the sprint and it asks you how many uh, weeks is your sprint? And you can say two weeks, one week, or you can customize it. Customizing some uh, would be what you would use, especially around Christmas. And that's because the, there are, you might find that there are weekend or weekend, there is a weekend, there are perhaps another Monday or Tuesday or whatever might be happening, depending on the day the Christmas 
and Boxing Day falls on, you might have to customize uh, your duration. But typically, it is just a two-week sprain, and you don't have to um, do anything with the end date if you're selecting the two-week sprain. And the spring go um, to complete Jira. And then you start the sprint. Hala, great. So we now have the sprint that has started. Uh, another thing which I'm gonna quickly show you, and it's not for every other, um, Again, depending on how Jira has been set up, you can actually add tasks, uh, sorry, subtasks. And subtasks will be uh, creating subtasks. I wouldn't worry too much about this creating subtasks because you don't need it unless you are a developer. And even then, most developers don't use it because it's too granular for them. Uh, but if you're working with uh, two or more people, you're better off creating this subtask. But nobody cares about subtask, all right? Uh, so the team will continue to move through the swim lane and you will see them moving. All right, so we'll see them moving. And the goal is to move to Don. Again, I am just picking up my card. Pick, drag, drop. Pick, drag, drop. Pick, drag, drop. To whatever swim lane you want it to be. So try that. And if you have any questions, let me know. Any questions? I think we're good to go. Who is not here yet in terms of uh, the task we've just completed? So we've, we've uh, created a project. I think a lot of people created projects. We looked at a timeline. Uh, we created epics, created uh, stories under epics and often stories. We created those ones. We also looked at um, putting items from the backlog to uh, form a sprint. We started the sprint. We created subtasks. We moved items through the swim lanes. And then um, we, we put everything into done. Who has missed this step? or who has missed any steps and you want me to repeat it. I think they're all good. Okay, that's great. So we, we're done with our sprint and we click complete sprint. And it says you want to complete sprint. Uh, and it says, no, you cannot complete it because there are some subtasks. And that's something that you will find out. And I always encourage my uh, my students that make mistakes when you're doing your JIRA, when you're practicing your JIRA in the comfort of your room, because your team will make some mistakes and you want to be able to uh, help them out. So you can imagine that you don't you don't create um, in software it is called uh, test driven development. You make sure that your test code fails so that you can fix it, right? So in Jira, always make sure that you make a mistake, then you can fix it. So when your team gets a similar mistake, you can help them. So it's telling me that there is a sub a subtask which I did not complete. So I will come in here. And my subtask is still in to do. So I will put it to done. Right. So now I can complete my sprint. And, and that's uh, the basics of, uh, of Jira. All right. So let's move to Confluence. 
If you're not in Confluence yet, uh, I would suggest you click on it because it sometimes take a, a little while for it to populate. So you see these uh, six icons or six dots in the corner of your Jira, uh, the left and uh, the top left hand corner of your Jira. Just click on it. And then it gives you some apps um, when it drops down and you will see Confluence. Click on the Confluence icon. All right. For you, it's probably taking some time uh, to populate your Jira, uh, sorry, your Confluence space. I have been here, so it, it just took me directly to my Confluence space. If you are in Confluence, let me know by show of hands, uh, thumbs up that you are in Jira. Thanks, Elizabeth. Blessing. Oida, thank you. Phoebe, Lola, thank you. I just need a couple of people more. Yeah, Chingwei. How is it Chingwei or Chingwei? How do you say? Chingwei. Chingwei. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yes, and this is still loading. Still loading. Okay. Yes, it will take some time. So I'm gonna just pause for a second because I know it does. I should have prep prep you earlier. Um. So we'll take a minute and just let a uh, few more people get on board. If you're still wondering where to get to your confluence, there's this six dot on the corner of your uh, confluence, uh, of your Jira, Remy is there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, today you have your hand raised. Do you have a question or complaint yes. or comment? Or... <laughs> <laughs> That's a question, yeah. So it's asking me what brings you to confluence. Do I, do I need to pick anything or I can skip that? So it's taking you to the Confluence. Yeah, it's asking me what brings you to Confluence. Create a knowledge base, collaborating across streams, trying it out. So you, can... Who cares? Why do you want to know? I just want to use it. Okay. <laughs> if you have anything like skip, you can skip or maybe... Yeah, just okay. skip it. Just okay. skip it. They're just okay. being nosy. Yeah. Okay, let, let, let's continue. Uh, and... Uh, if you do get to a confluence, let me know if you want me to go back on any of the other things as well. All right. Okay. So this is confluence. If you have used Word documents in the past, then you're good. If you've used the good old SharePoint, oh my gosh, that's another pain in the backside. Then you're good. This is quite easy. I, I kind of I like Confluence uh, over the SharePoint because it's so easy to organize. You can find whatever you're looking for. Make sure, again, that your documents have parents. If your document does not have parents, you will spend a lot of time finding something which is not lost. Okay. So... Just like Jira, we create spaces in Confluence. But in Jira, we do projects. In Confluence, it is called space. Similar thing, but different name. I already have my spaces here, but if you wanna create space, go uh, to spaces at the top of the menu. And then you will see the drop down which says create a space. So click on create a space. And then it asks you to give a name. So I am testing, testing, testing. 
And then this is where Yetune was like, what brings you to Confluence? Because they want to be able to customize whatever you're doing. But again, it does not really matter. So I am going to select collaboration. It's already highlighted, but you could do any other thing with what you want. Okay, knowledge base. Uh, and then it gives me a bunch of whatever. And honestly, with this, it depends on what the purpose of your uh, complaints, right? Again, you have a conversation with your team, with your management. Why are we using complaints? At my workplace, we use Confluence, we use SharePoint, uh, we use, um, what are the other ones that we use? Um, Mirror, we use quite a lot of things that we use. And each one has a purpose. So first, find out why are we using Confluence? And that would help you to customize it. So if you haven't done that, please create your space. So I now have my space created. So here is another thing. You can create a space for everything that you, you, okay, let me not say everything that you need, but let's say you're working with two or three teams. You can create spaces for each of those teams. You can create space for each of those teams. So you don't mix them up. However, you also want to link everything about those teams to the respective uh, space. So let me try and create, and it, it, Confluence will give you all a bunch of things. Look at it. So it's giving me some help, right? But I don't need his help right now because all I want to do is just get my documents done. When I have enough time, I can go and play around. Uh, things, but you just want to create uh, items. All right. So you have all these icons, which is home. We don't have a lot of things here, so I am not going to look at them. I'm just going to focus on create. So I want you to uh, click on create and we will create documents. Again, when you click on uh, document, it tells you different things that you can do, but we're go just going to create a page. If I'm going too fast, just tell me to slow down, all right? So we're gonna create a page. So create page and click on it. And this is your Word document. Like I said, if you've used Word document before, then Confluence is just a stroll in the park. So what do I do? I do uh, working on Confluence, right? And I just hit enter. I just hit enter and I uh, I can do all sort of things here. I can decide that I want some bullet points, uh, one, two, and I just keep hitting enter and it's just giving me all sort of, uh, helping me out to align it. I can also decide that I want to add a layout. Okay, now I'm playing around with it and I want you to play around with it accordingly as well. I'm using this um, menu bars here to play around, just like you will use Word document. So I've just added, and I can even add three columns. Or I could say, no, I want the uh, uh, left uh, sidebar and then look at that. Oh, I just want my old page back. Right, I don't need this, so I'm gonna bin it. All right, uh, one thing I want you to take away here is that you can actually talk about your status of your document. So if you don't want it published yet because you're still reviewing it or someone needs to sign it up, you click on the status here and it gives you where you should be. Again, just like your Jira, where are you? Rough draft in progress ready for review, verify. So when I click in progress, it is set to in progress. So we have our documents and we decided that it is verified. 
and then you save it. It automatically saves. Or sometimes you have to save it. But you will think that someone else can see my work, right? No, nobody can see your work. You actually have to publish it. And that's the thing about Confluence. You have to publish your work or else no one will be able to see it. So again, um, let's do another page, create page. Give this a page two, and then I publish. You will notice that my page two is under my work, working under conflicts. That's how you create parent, right? See? And I'm gonna add another page, page, page 2.1. And that's because I wanna create a child for my page two. And I'm still on the working on Confluence page. So if I close this, it all closes. If I wanna create a separate, um, how do I say it, um, folder. So let's call this one folder. Working on Confluence is a folder, just like you would have a Google folder. That's, yeah, that's the best way to explain it. So this is my folder here, Working on Confluence, and I've created different pages in the folder. I now wanna create another folder. No, that's not what I wanna do. I will go back to my testing. Sorry, it's taking a long time. I'm just going to refresh. Okay, so I'm now in my testing space. I can then create. I can either come in here and create or I can create here. So when I create a page now, working on Jira and I publish, Right, you can see that working on Jira is a page, it's a folder, or let's just say it's a page at the moment, but I wanna keep building on it. So if I wanna keep building on it, I will click on the working in Jira. Yesterday you have your hand raised. Working. No, that was a mistake. Okay, Jira two. In Jira, Jira 2, and I publish. So working in Jira now has turned into a folder. So I have more items or one more item under working in Jira. If I close it, you can see it's hidden. What if I, I just created... um a page which I don't know where it's probably sitting or perhaps I just create a blog and it is just sitting on its own and I want to link it, right? Or I want to move things around. Let me create a page. Linking pages. Publish. So this is my linking pages, which does not have any, any parent and I don't want it to get lost. So what do I do? I click on more actions, click on action and I click on move. 
where do I want to move it to? And then it gives me all these options. So I could say, I will move it to working in Jira. And there you go. My LinkedIn pages is now part of working in Jira. So I'm going to pause because I know I've kind of like given you a lot of steps. Questions, thoughts. Are we all following? Do we have any questions at this point? Are we good? Or well, maybe people are lost and they're saying, ah, you know, you, I cannot even <laughs> find myself. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to say, if you are good, can you give a thumbs up so we know you are good? I could not find uh, the spaces I created. All right, Sarah, do you want to share your screen? Let's help you find your spaces. I'm not sure it's Sarah. I think it's up there, Amy. Up there, oh, Amy, right. Oh, one, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Sarah had a, an up. Uh, uh, so I thought it was Sarah that was talking. No, it's not me. Okay. I just have a question, so but I wait for her to be done. All right. so, sorry, okay. who was it then? You want to share me. Up there, me. Go ahead and share up there, me. Uh, Kemi, I'm going to stop. Oh, talk. yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> You will see share screen beneath your, your Zoom. Mm -hmm. I think it's a green button, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, you are in your spaces, Okwemi. Mm -hmm. Those are your spaces there. You have Okwemi or Lion Car. Um, I'm not sure. Ola Dele, yep. Click on the, that that one. Let's just click on okay. I mean, yeah, the one you've created. And that's your space. So if you want to create, oh, okay. yeah, if you want to create a document, go to create uh, at the bottom, or you could go use the, the blue one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the one without parents? How do I create that? Uh, you don't want to create any document without parents. Yeah, you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose it. I just shared okay. uh, share with you because sometimes you create things in a hurry, uh, and you don't link it. Um, so you move things. Okay. Okay. That's clear. Thank you. Yeah, but don't ever get into habits or creating documents without uh, a parent. Mm -hmm. Um, Confluence gets so busy very fast that you will find yourself swimming. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, marketing team, who I were, which I was working with, um, when was it? Um, last year or the year before? Uh, it was a pain in this <laughs> to work to audit their um their Confluence page because I have to go in and make sure that the Confluence pages are compliant because we have the regulators that come in and they would uh, check that all the uh, documentation are in place. So I have a checklist which the auditors would uh, use as a, a benchmark and I would go in their Confluence page and try to first audit it uh, to know what is missing and they have this folders which they don't use or they have these documents which someone has created and they don't even know what it is for but it is important so we have to link everything so we have to clean up the space and then link those things and make sure that they, it is the way they are so my job is to help them uh, understand how to link things so please don't create uh, pages without parents okay thank you no worries any other person uh, oh sarah sorry sarah. go ahead um i just want to have ask a question so what exactly is the difference between um the jar the jira and the confluence fantastic question uh sarah Thanks. so your jira is a tracking tool 
when you have more than one person that you are working with, excuse me, you want to create a, a board which helps to bring visibility to the work that is to be done or is being okay. done. With the team members. Okay. For the team members. Right. Uh, so Jira is one of the tracking tools that we use in Agile space to help the team to keep track of what they're working on and also create visibility to other people. So okay. if you were a stakeholder or even if you were working on a team, um, if you're working in isolation, you would one overstep one another, two, you're working uh, on things that some other person has done, duplicating work, or not even know what is coming up for you. Mm. So Jira is where you would be able to see all those ones. On the other end, your confluence is like a, your SharePoint, whereby you document uh, thing, uh, uh, requirements. You document conversations that you've had. You document, so it's more comprehensive and uh, collaborative, right? right. You right. you don't want to use you, you. I've seen people use uh Confluence as a tracking tool, but like I said, it gets so busy quite quick or fast that you would lose track. Hmm. Right. So your uh, Confluence is documentation, and your Jira is tracking. Tracking. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think some people, uh, someone is already also typing in the chat for you. All right. All right. Any other questions? So I don't have much to uh, say about the complaints that will not get you, you know, uh, I don't want to say confused because I know you're not confused. You're smart. Uh, but I don't want us to go deeper into it because you will get to your place of work and it's completely different. But just know that if you want to create stuff, it is here. Uh, and uh, you could share and everything else. But the main thing is that you are creating documents. That's all you do in Jira. Oh, sorry. That's all you do in Confluence. And you can tag people too, right? But I don't have any people to tag. You can add labels. You can do all sorts of things, but those are all fanciful things. The main thing is that you're creating uh, documents. And if you are stuck with what you can create, you can always, always use your templates, right? So templates gives you some ideas of what has been done, um, or perhaps someone says, hey, Kemi, can you create this documentation? And you're wondering, uh, where do I start? Uh, these are all the templates that you can create in Jira. Uh, 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 sorry, in Confluence. And another thing with Confluence or Atlassian's um, product is that they have a community, uh, a very vibrant community that if you say, I'm trying to create certain documents in Confluence, can someone please help me out? they will gladly do that and throw it your way. Okay. Um, okay, so does that mean that you can't pull a document from another source? You All can always upload. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. You can upload documents. Um, you can you can do all sort of things. Right. I, I'm right. trying to think what is it that you cannot do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. it allows you to upload documents, but be very mindful of upload, uploading document, because what then happened is that, uh, let me, where, where is me? Did I use this? I think I used this. Okay. So if I was to, where is my sharing? So I can add links. Nope, that's not what I wanna do. Where is my upload documents? Edits. Yep, there we go. Yep. Where is it? Anyway, let me add pictures. So if I wanted to add pictures, what can I add? 
Let me just add this one. It comes in here, right? So I just added pictures. I can add link. Um, I can link this page to testing. So it's here. What else can I add? I can do all sort of things. I can add Kemi, you know, so that Kemi can come and view. And then I update it. And then it shows here. Right? But it does get very busy. And that's why I said, unless you have to add things to Confluence, don't. Okay? Got it. Thanks. Yeah. So play around with it. And um, yeah. So I'm going to stop. Unless someone asks questions, but that's uh, Confluence and, and Jira in a nutshell, or oh, 101. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kemi. Do we have anybody that has any questions or maybe there is something you want to find out or any clarity you need? Anyone like that, you can use the reaction button to raise your hand. And Kemi is still here. She's yeah. willing to delve into it, okay? Any questions? Is there anything that you don't really, really understand that you want clarity for? Anybody like that? Okay. So I think we are all good at this point, right? Just like Kenny said, this is more like Jira and Conference 101, right? But there are a lot of things that you can do even within this space of time. If you follow through, there are so many things you can do even at the workplace, if, some, if someone is talking about how to use Jira and Confluence, you will not say that you don't know. Because, of course, having gone through this, you can have one or two things to chip in. You know, it's not always good in the workplace when they are saying something around stuff you say you don't know. Mm -mm. You yep. have to say something because it's expected that you should know. You know, so that is why things like this or workshops like these are very important. It might not give you everything that you need. And again, remember, in your workplace, there are so many things that we did here today. You are not even expected to do. You have an administrator already. That's the work of the person to set up the system for you. Yours is just to come in and do your part, which is do more of movements and all that if you're a scrum master or if you're um or if you're a developer you know so uh but those small small conversations they are having in the office is always good for you to have an idea of how it goes on or of how things are being done so that is why it's very important and we really appreciate you uh kemi thank you so much yeah we quite appreciate you and everyone in this chat in this call, please, I want you to use your reaction button. You can use maybe love emoji or, you know, thumbs up, whatever that you feel. If you feel that you gain much value or impact or insight, like, please, let's see that coming. Okay? Thank, Thank you, you so much. Love. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for those love. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, Kenny, we can't even thank you enough. Honestly, oh, no, it's, it's, it's a pleasure when it, it is. I, I feel blessed to be in the midst of these wonderful people uh, awesome. who are passionate about learning and improving uh, on their skills. Just like Wendy says, uh, if you don't know something, please do not say you don't know. Mm -mm. Uh, what's this guy, Richard Branson? He said, if someone comes to you and say, can you do this? Say yes. Then go find out how to do it. Never Absolutely. say no. Absolutely. Yeah. I, ag I agree with you 100%. <laughs> go find out. Google is there. YouTube is there. You can even buzz any of your friend or any of your colleagues that you know that is into stuff like that. You know, they will be of great help for you. Okay. Yeah. Let me see in the chat. Oh, the chats are really popping up. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Nice one. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, on this note, I want to say a big thank you. I'm going to still allow uh, Ifetaya to do a closing uh, remark for us. But before we go into that, I just wanted to like drop a quick reminder. Um, so WinTech, we have a community. If you have not joined our community and you feel like this is a community you want to belong to, 
There are so many things we do here. We learn together, we banter together, we chit chat and so many other things. We talk about family, about, you know, personal lives as well. We also talk about uh, share ideas or maybe share information on jobs opportunity within our community. So if you feel like you want to join or not, if you feel like if you're a professional and you are in this call, you should be in WinTech, okay? So click on the link you will see on the chat. Fill the form. It's not going to take you more than one minute and you are done. Fill the form and the team is going to uh, add you into the group. Then we have some programs that are coming up in our community. And uh, coming up on in July, uh, within this Ju July, we have two programs that are coming up. One is also about tech as well. We are going to also announce that once everything is being uh, spelled out. Uh, for those that are in the community, you're going to hear it. If you are not, please do well to follow us on Instagram as well. LinkedIn, you can also follow us on LinkedIn so that all this information, you can get aware of them once they are out. And also for YouTube, today, this section, we are going to also share it in the YouTube channel. And uh, for anybody that want to go back to it, of course, it's always good you go back refresh your memory from time to time. So you might want to also subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch some other videos we've done in the past, and also like and share with other people. So in coming of uh, this July that is coming, we have two programs that is coming up, which one of them is about how you can pivot into tech, right? If you're thinking of how what are the things I need to know? Or what are the informations I need to information I need to know regarding to tech? How what how will I even start? You know, get ready, you are gonna get those information and again how you can go about it. Then on July 27th, for those that are here and you are not aware, we are having a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody happy here? It's a tie. I can see that smile. <laughs> Yay, I see okay, I see Jennifer. Yes. So in July 27th, we are having our summer fun time. So as mothers, we don't just sit down and be working on the system, you know, taking care of family and all that. We need to like flex as well. Uh, they say that all work, no play. Makes what? <laughs> so completely to yourself. So we are going to be having our summer fun time, and we'll be sharing the link in the comments of this uh, call. Please, if you want to be around, if you are within GTA, okay, we have different locations. If you are within GTA, you want to uh, be part of this uh, uh, fun time, you know, you might want to click on the link and fill up the form. It takes you like a few seconds or thereabouts, you are done. Okay, so that you will not miss out. We need to have fun together. Summer comes once in a while. <laughs> well, I say what? I see that some, to me, I take it that summer is just a month. It doesn't <laughs> last long. Before you know it, winter is already there. You know, so we want to have as many fun as possible we can. I'm dropping the link in the chat. Everybody, please click on the link if you are within GTA. Click on the link, fill the form, and of course, we'll get in touch with you once the time approaches. And again, we have another fantastic event that is coming up. Who will tell me? Can anybody tell me another event that is coming up in August? Okay. <laughs> you can say, don't worry, I'm going to say it, okay? Yeah, so we have global tech event that is coming up. It's called Evolve Tech Summit. An Evolve Tech Summit is an event you don't want to miss, honestly speaking. If you are into tech or you are not even into tech or you are still aspiring to, this is an event you don't want to miss. Recruiters are going to be there. You can as well come with your resume or if you don't have a standard, a good LinkedIn profile, I will tell you before the time. Make sure you have a good LinkedIn profile so you can connect with as many recruiters that will be there as possible. And also, you're going to see top tech professionals that will be there. So please, make it a date. August 10th, you are going to be in Toronto, Ontario. 
So if you are within Toronto, Ontario, do not miss this event because it's going to be a wow one. Okay? Yeah, we are going to also share the link in the chat as well. I guess someone has already shared that. Am I correct? Yeah, please, Celia, please help me share the link for the Evolve Tech Summit as well. And let's fill up the form. Like for the Evolve Tech Summit, uh, we do have some discounts as well for that. So if you want to have the discount, the discount will also be there. 20% discount you will get as well. But you don't want to miss this event. I am telling you, you don't want to miss it. Okay? Yeah, for those that are not in Ontario, don't worry, you will hear it. And, <laughs> and again, you're going to watch on YouTube as well. So relax yourself, okay? Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. I want to appreciate everybody that stayed till this very moment. I really appreciate you all. Uh, if a tire, please, I give you the floor. Thank you so much, Wendy. Um, a lot has been said this evening. Very short, but quite impactful session. Um, Kemi, thank you so much um, for sharing your wealth of knowledge. Um, we've learned a lot at this session. I'll just give a quick run through. Okay, so you taught us how to actually access the free JIRA and conference site, right? Because that is the beginning. Um, you, you told us how to create projects, create screens, where to create stories and tasks. On Confluence, you taught us how to create space, page, content, how to upload documents. This is a lot of information packed within less than two hours. Thank you so, so much for this session. Um, on behalf of WinTech, we say thank you. And to everybody uh, that is here, uh, you know, Rome is not built in a day. Um, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh God, I have so much to learn. No, with what you've gotten today, it's like the foundation. You build on it. After today, just go on um, Atlassian's website. You can have a lot of videos on YouTube as well. It's going to be a build on what you have today. Don't just let it go because practice makes perfect. Just keep on searching, keep on watching videos. And at work, you'll be able to speak like Wendy said. Okay. And Wendy, lastly, thank you so much um, for this platform. Um, you create opportunities all the time for people to come together and learn. Um, that's just the only way you can stay at the cutting edge, keep learning. And thank you, Wendy, you know, not just learning. We also have opportunities to have fun. Like she said, it's a beautiful community that you've created. Thank you so much. Bless you everybody and have a very long weekend ahead. <laughs> thank you. And bye everyone.